Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Deanna and uh, my channel is Lovey Lou Studio. Um, thank you for being here with me. If you have um, not subscribed, I would love you to do that. Um, if you um, have subscribed, thank you very much. And if you like my video, if you would please hit the like button and uh, that would be awesome. I'm just trying to build up my channel here and, and build up my, um, my viewership. Um, I am going to work a little bit more on my, um, journal, my lap book here. Um, this is using the papers from, um, collage type and tatty treasures and it is called midnight meadow and it is just this beautiful um kind of browns and oranges a little bit of red um some so a little bit of teal in it or gray um it's just a super pretty um pretty set. So I'm, I'm going to start out by making the closures for these because the last time, oh, so let me show you kind of what I've done since um, the last video. So I did cover it in fabric and um, then I put the cover front and back cover on and um, I put this piece of lace on the spine. Um, so that is there. And then I also, let me just kind of give you an idea of how I did this. So, um, in here, um, so this is two, um, manila envelopes that are stuck together. So they're there. So where they meet in the middle and where I scored them. Um, so I just put a piece of, um, of craft card stuck in there to kind of be my spine for right now. Um, I will cover that with a piece of paper. I have a piece of paper cut. I just need to sew around it and then I'm just going to glue it on there. Um, there isn't going to be anything attached to the spine because, um, the spine is an inch and a half and these two spines, um, are three quarters of an inch. So they kind of fill that whole gap. Um, it'll give me a little bit of room to add something onto these, but I'm not going to get super, super fat with it. Um, and then what I did for the back cover, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> wow, I think I just swallowed something weird. Um, is um, so I took another piece of craft card stock and I scored it along the edge here. Um, I glued the cover on. So let me show you. There's like a a hardboard cover, a book cover. If you've seen the other video. Um, so I glued that on and then I, I glued the fabric on and then I glued on, well, before I glued the fabric on, I glued on a piece of another piece of craft card stock that kind of runs from maybe about right here. I scored it here. I scored it here and it comes around the back and it ends. So it's probably about maybe an inch and a quarter on each side, give or take. Um, and then the whole width of the spine so that wraps all the way around and then I put the fabric on and then I put the two covers on and I glued this lace on so actually it's kind of cool because when this opens let's see if I can see this when it opens it kind of gaps like this if you can see that in the video so it kind of has this this gap like this so when it lays it does lay pretty open pretty well um and it will allow this to kind of pop all the way out. So um, I like how that looks. I actually kind of like that look a lot, actually. So um, that is how I did that. And then in here, so I put a piece of craft card stock in each one of these little spines here. And then I covered it with paper on the outside. And I just ran some of that lace Um along the edges there. So that'll give this more stability. And these will hold up once we get them filled. They will be they will be able to um, push them out. So what we're gonna do is, so what I did, these numbers come in the kit, 
So I just glued them onto this craft card stock and I'm just going to punch them out. And I think my punch, I have to see, my punch is about the same size. It's a little bit, I think a little bit smaller. So I'm thinking now, do I want to cut, punch them out or cut them out? Because the 11, it's going to cut some of it off. But it's probably easier to punch them than cut them, maybe. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. I actually glued two pieces of cardstock, um, the the craft cardstock. So I punched, see I punched two circles. I glued them to back and then I glued them to this again. So it's pretty, it is pretty thick. So I'm just going to cut these out really quick. And I could probably, look at this. I have my new glasses so I can see now. <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> maybe. Oh, my cat, my, my cat is meowing outside. I can hear her. She wants in. She's going to have to wait a minute. So there's that one. And then we'll cut this one out. So I'm sure you've all heard this. The trick to cutting circles is really to move the paper and not the scissors. You just kind of hold the scissors in the same place for the most part and cut your circle. Turn the paper to cut the circle. So keep that piece. Um, oops. And then I'm gonna ink them up. So let me get my ink out, knock everything out of my basket here. Um, really quickly um I think I've said this in other videos but I don't really always feel the need to ink the thing that I like about it is it does besides giving kind of that extra dimension or layer or whatever you want to call it it also does kind of give you a little bit of um uh what's the word I want um it hides your mistakes well so there is that so I think I'm just going to put this right there and we're just going to use, I'm just going to do it with brads. I'm going to kind of center it the best I can between and then kind of just poke a hole in the middle. I have my little brads over here. And then I am going to put a piece of tape on the back of this just to give it a little bit more um like a little bit of masking tape um just to cover that up a little bit keep that piece for the other side i am going to put a piece of paper i had do have a piece of paper i'm going to put in here um, but i wanted to get these on first so that will just wrap around there and then we will cut that excess off because I don't think we need quite that much. I was a little over overzealous with the with that. Um, so let me undo this because I do have the piece of paper that goes in here over here. And I am not going to sew this or anything. I just have to remember, I think this one, okay. So I've already inked it up. I'm just gonna glue it. Um, I'll be honest, I actually glued this on already one time. And then as soon as I glued it on, I was like, oh yeah, no, quickly take it off. Cause I forgot I had to put the brads on. So, you know, that is the, that is my kind of uh, downfall sometimes, like forgetting, remembering that you you need to do something before. So let's see. Now this is um, this is not going to. I'm going to have to cut the notch out of that top piece right there. So I'm just going to turn this around. It's, I know I'm off camera right now, but I'm just going to cut the notch out of it and I'm going to be okay with it lining right up against the um, edge of the paper 
and then we'll show you. So I'm okay with it kind of lining up right up against the paper right there. I'm just going to ink it up. And then that will be down. So that will be our closure. And I'm going to leave it like this. Um, so it will lift up and back so you can open this. And I did put another piece of paper in here um, uh, to cover that little slot because actually... Um, if you remember, this, these two were the same piece of paper that I just sliced. The same with over here. And when we get to that side, I will show you. Um, same thing. So um, I decided to do this because I wanted to fold it in that way and then have kind of a closure that I could put my little twisties around. All right. So there's that one. And then we will do this one over here. So we need to just kind of decide where this is going to go. Oh, my cat is just screaming at me right now. I can hear her out there. Meow, meow, meow. She's funny. She wants to go out. She's like dying to go out. Let me out, let me out, let me out. And she's out for a little while. And then she's like, okay, I'm done. Let me back in. So I can sleep and eat. Okay, so put this one in. Flip it over. Pull that brad apart. Put this piece of tape on just to help cover it up. I just like to do this. Um, one, so it doesn't kind of rip your paper. Um, you know, I mean the the paper will be right up against it and if we're going to be moving this back and forth and back and forth and back and forth um i definitely want to kind of you know keep that edge um those points from going through the paper like by accident at some point so um i like to um i like to just cover it up Ooh, with a little piece of tape Make sure I'm putting my paper on straight so it's not, because um, it is it does have writing on it. So I want to try to put it up right side up. Okay, so I'm going to just flip this around, knock my scissors on the floor, which is an everyday occurrence with me, a multiple time occurrence with me, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so we're just going to kind of trim that off a little bit there. Okay, we'll just ink that little corner up right there. And it will be beautiful. Okay, sorry, I think I hit my camera right there. I have my camera plugged in and the cords hanging down and I think I hit the cord so I apologize for that so we're just gonna wrap this around a couple of times we'll cut that extra Ooh, I got I think I got super extra with that one but maybe we can use that for a tag or something later so those are both done on those sides so what we're going to do now is I'm going to start making the pieces that go on to these. So I have a bunch of things kind of already prepped. Um, so I'm just going to get one of them out and we'll just start. I'm not exactly sure where yet I'm going to put all of these things that I make. Um, I'm going to make them all and then just kind of decide where I'm going to put them. Um, so um, this is, there's a little butterfly in here. There it is. Um, so um, I started out by, um, I had this Edith Holden pages. And I have some other Eden Holden pages that I'm going to use in um, in this book. Um, but I had these Eden, Edith Holden pages. And this is actually a poem that goes together like this. And I kind of liked it. Um, it's about autumn. And so I just kind of liked it. Um, I think it's from the October section. Um, I also cut out some of her tad or toadstools. And um, 
I have a couple of them and I, I don't know yet how I'm going to put them on here. I might just kind of put them on like this because um, this one has toadstools and let me see. Oh, I'm trying to think what am I doing here? I think this is two different, two different things. I have, I have a couple of projects, I think, in each one of these envelopes. Okay, so these are the tags. This one goes there. And there's the butterfly and the toad stools. Here's the other corner pocket. Here's the little, little corners. Okay, I got to think about this for a minute. Because I think I was kind of... Looking at a couple of different things here. There's that one. And there's this one. Okay. And here's the two tags. I'm not sure where I have this little one because I'm not sure. So <clears throat> I believe both of these are for this pocket. Actually, I think the bigger ones are for these pockets. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is, so let me tell you the measurements. So these are, these are just, um, so I have an Edith Holden book that is the little one. And let me see if I can find, I just had it. Um, it's right here. So I have the little version of the country diary of an Edwardian lady. Um, so it is a lot smaller. Um, and it is not bound, it's bound with glue. So it's kind of a, kind of a good time with that. Um, so um, this is the full page, the full width of the page. So all I did was I took this page and this is pretty much the full height, except I think I cut a little bit off the top. So they were about the same size. So this is um, about a little over five and a half, five and um, yeah, about five and a half. And, um, it is about three and a half inches tall. Um, I think they're both the same. I tried to make them about both the same. So yeah, three and a half. So all I did was I just, um, I just folded in the sides, um, and I'm going to glue it to the page, um, on these two sides right here. So I have the full width in here. Um, so the first thing I was going to do is I'm going to make, um, a little, a little collage kind of piece, um, to go a little snippet kind of, I don't know what they call these, um, a little kind of decorative piece. So I have a piece of, so in the kit, there's these strips that are kind of like washi tape. They're supposed to be washi tape. Well, I printed them onto vellum. So they were actually more like washi tape. Um, so this is one of the strips from that. And then I have a piece of just kind of craft cardstock, um, not craft, um, just like a, a off white. And actually, I think this is a tag from the kit. I want to say this is an actual tag from the kit that I just um, ripped up. So I ripped that up. I'm going to, I'm going to ink that. And then I have um, a piece of this lace, this black lace that I'm going to put on here. I'm going to sew these. So I'm going to do that off camera because me and sewing it it that's worse than watching me ink or glue or anything like that so um because there's usually some swear words involved in sewing with me <laughs> so you know the things you can't post on youtube or you shouldn't post on youtube so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to um sew all of this together with this number and this little ticket which are all from the kit they're all from the kit i'm going to do that and then i'm they're i'm just going to sew them on the top of this tag. So I am going to pause right now, um, ink all of these pieces up, sew them, and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, I'm back. So I got everything inked up and everything sewn on. Um, so I wanted to just show you one little thing that I like to do. So I sewed this on to the tag, but you can see it's kind of got this little bumpy ridge thing. So if you just take your bone folder and kind of rub it, um, it kind of takes those holes away a little bit and makes it smoother on the back. Um, 
just, you know, cause here, like here, you can really see the holes in there. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, it feels really bumpy too. So I just take a bone folder and rub it along and it kind of closes those holes up a little bit. Um, doesn't really do anything to the thread or anything, doesn't take away, but it just kind of like smooths it out a little bit more. So um, what we're gonna do now, so those two are done. Um, I have these two little tags here that were part of the kit. Um, little little cards um, and then I have um, these that are out of the kit as well so I'm just gonna glue these on um, I thought about sewing them but me and the sewing machine are just we are sometimes not friends I don't know maybe I will sew them on I kind of like the look of that if I sewed all the way around this and sewed that on um, but what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to sew all around this, um, but I'm going to put them on. So they're kind of a little, not perfectly down in the corner um, because they're not as high as the pocket. The point is not as high. So if I put them all the way down, there's like a little gap up there. And not that that's bad, but I kind of want that little border around it. So I'm going to sew them on. So there's a little bit of a border. And then I have these little stamps and I'm going to... Um, Put one on there that I just kind of put that little bit of lace on there. I'm going to put one on there and then this one's going to go on the other side over here and this little stamp will go there and then these little cards will go in each one of these and then these will slide in in the pockets like that. So those will be our finished pieces. So I'm just going to sew this back and I will come right back and then show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm back. So I got these sewn all around. So they're both sewn all around. And then I'm just going to glue on the little, the little stamps. So I will glue these on. And then this little card will go in there and this will go in there when it gets glued into the book. So it will look like that. This one, we will. Right, and this little card will go in there, and this will go in there. So those are those two done. Now the next little project I have, um, I also have all of these pieces, um, most of them, of the kit. So what I did was I, um, I sewed around these. I have not inked them yet, but I'm gonna ink them here really quickly while I just talk. Um, so all of these pieces are out of the kit. So um, there, this kit again is kind of if you get all the pieces and I think, um, so there's some on Taddy Treasures um, Etsy shop. There's some in um, collage types, uh, collage types Etsy shop. And then there are some on um, Taddy Treasures um, Facebook group. Um, There's some freebies. And there are also some freebies for um, on her. And I, maybe they're not freebies. They might be like um, you, you pay a um, dollar maybe. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I can't remember exactly what it is. But it's on her Kofi. Um, Taddy Treasures Kofi and so I there are multiple pieces to the to the whole kit um, so I wanted to just show you that so um, I have here um, this little banner and I, I'm never sure which way these little banners go this way maybe or this way maybe this way did they go that way I don't know 
So I have the little banner and I have this little, um, this little butterfly that I'm going to put on this one. And then over here I have, um, these mushrooms that I am going to put on. And I think I'm going to put them on down here and kind of put them on like this. Now these are from, um, maybe I'm going to do them this way. Um, these are from, um, Edith Holden's, um, book. And like I said, it's a little, it's a little, it's from the little one, um, that I got. And I got that at just my local used bookstore. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, so this is from the kit. So I'm going to put this little butterfly label on here and this card will go in here. And then on this one, um, the toadstools was from, um, her kit and, um, I mean, from her book, Edith Holden's book, and on this page that these are on. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna glue this on and glue, and then that tag will stick in there. So um, let's glue this on first. So kind of an easy way just to dress up these little corner, corner pockets. Um, I just sewed around them, inked around them, and then put a little label on there and on this one I'm gonna glue on this little banner and I, I hope I'm doing it the right way I don't really know it could be the other way and I could just be and maybe it doesn't even matter I don't know so but I think I want to put it down this way because I think it will um it'll fit the butterfly better so um you know, we always have all these little fussy cut butterflies, right? And they usually have these tiny little antennae that you can't, I mean, it was barely, I could barely cut off the little bottom parts of the monarch there. Um, and so I have some thread left from my um, sewing just now. So I am just going to kind of wad this little piece of thread up. kind of keep wadding it up around and around so you kind of have a little ball and you might have like two little pieces kind of sticking out at some point so I try to figure out how I can do this so the two little two little ends will kind of stick out well not three we don't have three little antennae on our thing and then I'm going to put some glue in the middle of this I'm going to stick this down two little pieces up here they're not very pulled apart very well but and then we're just going to glue our little butterfly put a little glue down there on that little that little bottom piece down there I'm trying to stay on camera for you guys sorry if I'm not and then we're just going to kind of put that in the middle there on that little wad of thread okay so that one will go there and then this one we will glue these on so I think first I'm going to put a little bit of glue back here because I want to glue this on first because I'm just going to kind of put these so they're kind of growing out from behind and then we'll put all of our glue on Okay, and then we'll just put this down here, kind of at the bottom. And then we'll glue this little toadstool on this pocket. Okay. And then that one will go in there and those little toadstools will kind of peek out a little bit, which I don't mind that they're kind of hidden. They're kind of a little surprise. So that is our little project for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow with another one. So um, these are done. So I am going to actually just put these back in the little envelope that I took them out of. So I have them. Um, I just usually keep my little pieces 
put together in an envelope so I have them. So I will just put these away. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.